Hey guys, welcome to the 152nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own conversion operators. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and an item class. And inside of your item class, just make sure you have a public integer property. Mine's just called price. So, before we can look at creating our own conversion operators, we first have to understand um, what explicit and implicit means. Explicit basically means that the user has to do something to tell the compiler and implicit basically means that it does it automatically So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is an explicit conversion So to do an explicit conversion you basically have to tell the compiler that you want it to be converted One way of doing that is casting it. So we're going to say item i equals and then we can cast um, an integer um, as an item so we could cast this three into an item but since we haven't set up a conversion operator for it yet we can't do that I'm just going to mark this as explicit now if we wanted to make it implicit meaning we don't have to tell the compiler to convert it that would just be item I'll call this item equals three and then this would be implicit meaning that we didn't have to do anything it just automatically converts it and since we haven't set up an implicit conversion operator, we can't do this yet either. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be looking at is creating our own explicit uh, conversion operator. So, just like while we're working with all operators, we're going to have to make it both public and static. So we're going to type public and static. Next, we have to specify if we want it to be explicit or implicit. And like I said before, we're going to be looking at explicit first, so I'm just going to type explicit. Then we're going to have to say operator. So we're just going to say operator because you're going to be creating your own conversion operator. And after all that, we finally get to choose what we want to cast it as or convert it into. And it's going to be an item, and it must be the same name as your class or else it won't work. So we're just going to say item. And then in here, we're going to say what we want to um, turn into an item. In this case, we're going to be turning an integer into an item. So we're going to say int right here, and I'll just call it mm, item price. All right, so inside of here is where we want to um, convert this integer into an item. And since we specified that it must be an item, we're going to have to be returning an item. So we're going to create a new item here. I'll just call it i and set it equal to a new item. And then I'll say the item's price equals whatever integer the user um, passes through here. So we're going to say item price. And then we're just going to return this new item that we've created. So we'll just return i. So as you can see, now this explicit conversion is perfectly fine because we created um, a conversion operator for it. Now let's take a look at creating an implicit one. And it's just the exact same thing, only we mark it as implicit. So we're just going to copy this right here and basically just say implicit. Implicit. However, we cannot have both an explicit and implicit um, conversion operator for converting the same thing into an item. So we're going to have to choose between which one you want to do. So first, let's just take a look at this explicit. So we're just going to comment this out so we're not looking at this anymore. All right, so this explicit conversion is perfectly legal. So let's have a message box display this item's um, price. So we're just going to say i dot price.toString. And we should get three in a message box because we converted um, this three into an item. So now we need to debug here, we should get three. Yep. All right, and now let's make sure that our implicit conversion worked um, fine. And since this is implicit, we didn't have to specify that we want to convert it into an item. So we're going to comment this explicit um, conversion operator and uncomment out with implicit ones so we can implicitly convert it. So now let's display this item's price in a message box and we should get three as well since we set this item equal to three. So I'm just going to say message box dot show item dot price to string since it's an integer. Alright so now in debug we should get three. Yep, perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on creating your own conversion operators, so see you guys.